Many of us we know Trevor Noah as a popular funniest South African comedian. The honest truth is that some of us don't know his real facts about him. Now the question is, who is Trevor Noah? How he became rich and how does he spend his money? We will start here. Trevor was born in South Africa and his date of birth is the 20th of February, 1984. He was raised in the largest township called Soweto. The man had a vision of being a TV star. He started small with his radio shows back in the early 2000s. Trevor got lucky and got an acting job, a TV soap called ECD Ingor. The man realized there's no money in acting soapies and TV shows. He then decided to become a comedian. Trevor has won multiple awards around the world for comedy. That's where his life changed forever and became one of the richest comedians out there. Now, enough about his short documentary. Let's us talk about how many businesses does Trevor know of? Before we get to his assets and net worth, well, as you might expect, Trevor Noah owns his own production film company, which is called Day Zero Productions. Surprisingly, he also owns various properties around the United States of America, which is kind of cool to invest in foreign land. His entrepreneur mindset helped to gain more money and grew his net worth massively. Now, let's us talk about his car collection, the most interesting part of the video. If you didn't know, Trevor Noah owns a Lamborghini Aventador, which is the best-selling Lambo out there. The price for it is $600,000, which equals to 10 million rands. That Lambo is one of the fastest car in the world. Plus, I want one for myself, when I reach 100,000 subscribers. It doesn't stop there. He also owns a Rolls Royce SUV, which is called the Cullinan. The price for it is around $350,000, which is very affordable when compared to the Ferrari SUV, that costs around $450,000. The Rolls-Royce looks better than any other SUV out there. On other hand, he owns a Range Rover Sport. That car looks very modern and futuristic, to be honest. Well, the price for it is around $250,000, which is very affordable for a car that looks like that. I believe that Land Rover was the first SUV or 4 by 4 car in the world. Surprisingly, he also has another Lamborghini called Urus, which is one of the world's coolest super and aggressive SUV. The price for it is around $350,000, that equals to 6.3 million rands. The price of the car is worth the money, even Kanye West has won. Trevor Noah will never disappoint, he also owns a Rolls Royce Ray. This is my favorite car, but it's too expensive man, I wish I could get one for myself. Well, the price of that artwork is $400,000, which equals to 7.2 million rands. That's a lot of money there. Trevor's last car he owns is a Mercedes-Benz GT, which is one of the fastest Mercedes-Benz made. The car was so underrated by consumers, so many people don't like it. About the price, the car is worth around $200,000, which equals to 3.6 million rands. The man is a huge fan of the racing cars and Formula 1 cars, that's kind of cool to me. Overall, his car collection is worth almost $2 million which equals to 36 million rands, that's very expensive. Comment down below, your positive thoughts on Trevor's car collection and please don't be jealous, just be proud of him. If you made it this far, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. If you have a good heart, you will show us you're in subscribing. Importantly, please share this video using the link. This will help us to reach 100,000 subscribers. Let's us grow our local channel here in Africa. God will bless you. Moving on to his mansion. For your information, Trevor Noah stays at a $27.5 million mansion in Bel Air, Los Angeles. He is mansion of pure definition of a successful South African American comedian. Who knew Trevor Noah will own a multi million dollar mansion in America? The man works very hard for his money. Tell me about your thoughts on Trevor Noah's mega mansion. Plus, he also owns a penthouse in Manhattan that's located in Stella Tower. The price of his penthouse is around $10 million, can you imagine? That's basically 150 million rands in South African currency. This guy is very rich. I believe he is a billionaire undercover, who knows? The man has a good taste on luxury accessories. Trevor was seen wearing a Patek Philip Nautilus, which is a travel time chronograph watch. The price for it is $110,000, which equals to 2 million rands. This watch looks very simple and nice to wear and I'm not surprised. He has a lot of Patek Philip watches on his collection. He also owns another rose gold Patek Philip Nautilus watch, which is one of the rarest, expensive watch on the market for Patek Philips. 
the price for it is around $500,000, that's half a million dollars, which equals to 9 million rands, just for a watch. Honestly, that watch is dope and cool. I will buy it one day. The man is a big fan of Partek Philip watches. He owns a Partek Philip Aquanaut, that's worth around $150,000, which equals to 2.7 million rands. This one of the rarest and hardest to find Partek watches out there. Not many people have it on their wrist. His last Partek Philip watch he owns is another rose gold Partek Philip Nautilus. This watch is a custom factory set white diamonds, coming fresh from Africa. The price for it is around $400,000, which equals to 7.2 million rands. Shockingly, he has a Richard Mill watch, which is called the RM11. The price for it is $250,000, which equals to 4.5 million rands. This watch is a 40mm, it has Arabic dial and skeleton dial with automatic movement. The value on this watch increases almost every day. He also has another Richard Mill watch, called RM67, that's automatic extra flat. The price for it is $315,000, which equals to 5.7 million rands. This watch was is very special, because it has an automatic movement and it's titanium with rubber material plus, Trevi owns a Rolex watch, like any other man who needs his crown to be king. He has a Rolex watch called the GMT Master Watch. The price for it is around $40,000, which equals to 750,000 rands. The watch is unique, it's water resistant and it's a 40mm with oyster steel. He also owns an AP watch, that's called the Audemars Pigout Royal Oak. The price for it is worth $50,000, which equals to 900,000 rands. This is a common watch, mostly bought by rappers and entrepreneurs like Casper Vest. Well, those are the watches owned by Trevor Noah this year. Some of his watch collection was sold out due to upgrades. Some people will think that buying expensive watches is waste of money. The actual reality, it's invest of money or maybe money laundering. I know many of the people watching this will be surprised. Home, where I always loved watches. Uh, my father is Swiss, so it's almost a prerequisite. He would bring me two things from Switzerland every time he would come back home to South Africa. He'd bring me a watch and he would bring me the chocolates. And so I've, I've loved collecting. And this is easily my most essential piece. If I had to keep one watch and one watch alone, it would be this Patek Philippe 5650G, the advanced research. One of the most beautiful pieces ever made, in my opinion. It's got all of the work of a Patek Philippe, a beautiful design, but at the same time, it doesn't take itself too seriously. You know, you've got this like fun rubber strap, you can wear it whenever you want. For those who know, Trevor Noah is currently worth $100 million this year, which equals to 1.8 billion rands. According to Celebrity Net Worth website, his annual salary is $16 million which equals to 288 million rands. Can you imagine that? The man is one of the world's highest paid comedians. On top of that, he won the world's richest comedians as well, after Kevin Hart and others. Hey, it's just not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that- His dream came true when he moved out from Africa to the United States, the land of opportunity where everything is possible. It's sad for most of our local successful people are leaving Africa, like Elon Musk, who left for a better living in developed countries well. The potential to grow. That is the thing I miss the most. You don't appreciate it in South Africa. A lot of the time people preach about how South Africa is crashing and how it's burning and it's turning into Zimbabwe and mm. it's the worst place. One thing we possess in the country, if we are willing to pursue it, is the ability to grow. There's untapped opportunities. There is an untapped market. There is an untapped, but both sides need to come together, mm -hmm. you know? Like True. Julius Malema, yeah, people want to laugh at him and he says crazy things, but he is right. Yeah. White capital does need yeah. to acknowledge in some way yeah. that there is a black electorate that has been pushed away for so long. Yeah. But at the same time, black people must also admit, it's very hard to some, for someone to just give away the money. You've got to find a compromise in every com conversation. You've got to find, and like, if, if people don't see it from both sides, if people just go, you're wrong, you're wrong, then it's no never one goes gonna, anywhere. Yeah, no one goes gonna anywhere. Move and, and make There's a plan. always compromise and people go, no compromise, no comp Then you're like, you, what you don't realize is if you don't compromise in a negotiation, you'll compromise in war. At some point, you're gonna get a compromise. And so- And when it's a forced compromise. Exactly. Then, yeah. And so people don't really, the one thing we have in South Africa, man, I took it for granted. We have the potential to grow. We have, talent we have a melting pot of people that doesn't exist in most places in the world 
we have culture, we have a rich history, we have one of the best constitutions in the world, an amazing democracy, the way it's set up is phenomenal. The fact, people go out democracy, out democracy, no, the fact that, look at it in such a short space of time, people going and I'm voting for the DA, forget black, white, now yeah. I'm going this party. That choice. This pa choice is now that a choice. thing. choice, yeah. And it's good because, let's say if the ANC rules forever, that's not good because now what's happening is it's a monopoly and it's a dictatorship. It needs to be a thing where even if the ANC is in power, they, they are going, we need to keep you. Yeah. We need to show you why you should vote for us, not you voting not just because. This is not black party, white party. No, we've got to get to a point in politics where black and white are choosing sides, you know, and, and you're choosing because of the party and what they represent for you. So the biggest thing I took for granted, you come to America, they've been doing this for 200 years. This democracy thing. 200 years, people fighting about the same things. Now there's not even a conversation. Here, people don't shift. People don't go, no, next election I might do this. No, because people are like, this is who that. I am. This is what I do. If you're this person, you go to that party. If you're that person, you go to that party. And the country as a whole, it's like jammed. The, the, the laws don't get made. The country doesn't move. You don't feel the they same. They move to stand in the same place. There's less growth in the economy. The, like with us, we struggle because of corruption and because of things that you see with the president and the way the systems are run. That's a, that's a problem, but we can fix it. That's all about Trevor Noah this year and his lifestyle. If you like this video, please subscribe and also watch my other videos on the pop-up on the screen.